If you're a heat and nursing technician, even a salesperson, when is the worst time for you to leave a company and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Summerville, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento. Okay, so there's going to be a point where wherever you're working just doesn't work out and there is some best timing for you and there is some best timing for the employer. And sometimes the best timing for you and the best timing for employer, they don't really match up. And so I'm gonna tell you a story. I worked for an organization that I really wanted to stay at. And uh, for a few reasons, I couldn't. I couldn't, so I had to leave in the middle of summer. And it's not something that I wanted to do. It's something that I had to do. And it wasn't like my best moment. It wasn't the most awesome thing that I've ever done in my life. And I gotta tell you, it was super hard. And there's a lot of reasons for it, so I'm not going to really go into all the details because they're not going to be interesting to you. So if you're like, hey, I think I need to find a new organization or a new place to work at, there's a couple things that you can do to help alleviate the situation. One, right, where possible, where possible, you can say, hey, I'm going to be out of here and you're going to set the date. It might be a week, it might be two weeks, it might be a month. Hey, at the end of this time period, I'm done. The danger is, is you've already checked out. The danger is, is like it's not very interesting to you for the most part, sometimes it is. Second, how you leave an organization is just as important how, as how you get into one, right? And I know I have a video out that says like, don't be a jerk on the way out. There's no reason to give all the repercussion and all the problems and all the issues and here's all the people and all the faults. The, the managers or the business owners own know it. And like, it's just one more thing where you're just like, oh, I gotta, Got to, you know, put the dagger in the heart when you really don't have to. It's like, you know, here's what it is. And then like third, don't beat around the bush. Like if if you're done and that's what it is, that's what you got to do. And this right here is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods. Not the Facebook group, not the YouTube channel. which means private coaching, private training, discounted or coaching or discounted training. Type that URL into a browser. And uh, it's like a name, email address, phone number for my email publication. Right? Right there. Okay. So. When's the best time for you to leave uh, a company for them? It would probably be like spring or fall, before the busy season or after the busy season. But depending upon what's going on and what the situation is, sometimes that just doesn't play out. Sometimes uh, monetary reasons demand that you move on. Sometimes relationship reasons demand that you move on. Sometimes it's a conflict of interest. Like there's, there's a lot of reasons. But at the end of the day, there is best practices that you can use, okay? So once again, where possible, give like, here's a range of time. Number two, be super courteous. Hey, like I would love to be able to come back under these circumstances and sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. And then number three, you don't have to totally destroy the, the manager or the owner of the company and tell them, hey, here's all the problems that we have. There is a proper way to do this. Um, I have worked for a few heating and air companies and in Sacramento and some of them, I was like, hey, I'd love to go back. And some of them like, Right? I'm not going to name names because it's not going to be interesting to you. <laughs> You're like, I live in Ohio or I live in Florida. No, see, none of that matters. So, but be aware, there is a when possible time where you can time it for you and the organization. And sometimes at the end of the day, it just doesn't work out even though you wish it could. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. Every time I send a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, you know what you got to do. Share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.